fellowship of the Lord. We have fellowship with, with Jesus. We just want to have fellowship with Him. What does that mean? We want to be fellowship with Him. Our deepest desires, our deepest hurt, and whatever it is, He wants to know about it. So He knows everything. But He wants us to support Him. He wants us to show Him that we trust Him and have to tell Him all that He knows. That's what fellowship is in the body of Christ. When we got friends that we can call at any moment to look, I'm going to get you to look at them. You can do it, you can do that. You know what I mean? You can do it, you can do it. It says, make this your common practice. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may live together in hope and in hope. And then it says, those only says, you can change the perfect prayer of the righteous man as well as much. We place the place in so that we can heal and be holy. We carry each other. Confess one another. Now listen. I'll be honest with you, I've been in many groups and we try to do accountability. Men do not like accountability. Men don't like accountability. They don't like accountability. They don't like accountability. They don't like accountability. They don't like accountability. But this is what happens a lot of times in accountability groups. You get men and you really start being open with each other. You start sharing some of your secrets, whatever the secrets, the hopes, the weaknesses, the failures, whatever. And if somebody in the group runs away, and then it gets back, and each thing is such an intimate thing, it's such a special space in the group, and then it gets back. And that's, we got to be careful in the body of Christ. But if somebody tells you something, that you keep it between you and them. And you'll hear me talk about your face and things, stuff like this, or whatever. I'm talking about when somebody tells you something, they say, man, don't say nothing. It's just personal. It's just different. Don't bring your mouth to them. It's trusting you. And if I can't trust somebody in the body of Christ, how in the world are we going to ever see the body of Christ? Amen? And then the world thinks that intimacy occurs only in the dark, but that's what will happen in the dark. Darkness is used to follow things and try to do it and fail with the dark. But in the light, we bring them all out into the open. You know, sometimes you just got to get something out of the open because you've got to get it. Now, listen to me very clearly. I am not telling you to go and tell everything you do, who you do, and how you do it, who you do it with. And then, I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you to do that. But I do think that it's kind of a place that we you need to have a brother, sister, child, or a brother, child. Let me go, let me back to you. And then, you don't need to be telling women in the church you're drunk. You don't, you don't need to be by a woman, with a woman by yourself. I don't talk about this other week. You don't need to be, men don't need to be women, and women don't need to, y'all don't need to do that thing. Okay, so they start small. That's what happens in small groups too. In small groups, they start telling intimate stuff, and they want to hear. You know, whatever. I mean, trouble stuff. That's the deal. They want to know the burden of social care law. First Corinthians twelve twenty five. The way God designed their bodies and remodeled for understanding our lives together is that church every part should be dependent on each other. I can tell you for sure the last two weeks. I miss my shoulder. I'm dependent on my shoulder. But you know what? We got people in the church that leave the church that's supposed to be in the church. Kelly was telling me something. I'm going to put it in the world. It's awesome. It talks about some people need to be like that. You need to say bye to some people. You need to, you need to cut ties with some people. That's why it's not supposed to be there forever. But sometimes people leave when they're supposed to be there. And that's when they can be taken to the body. You've got to you gotta pray through it. You've got to you got to work on that because they're going to be hurt. The body's going to be hurt. The whole thing out of whack. Being here, I don't know if y'all like him. I don't know if you like him or not. I used to love him. I used to, I went to Spartanburg and saw him. And I promised y'all that the place to God in that day, like I've never felt before, it's not a place to God in that day. And a man that played eight hours a day, and you two played eight hours a day, I couldn't say nothing to him for that day. Sometimes eight minutes of that, that would be easy. And then, but he started trying to operate out of his gift. And when he started trying to operate out of his gift, God came down and said, This is not go back to your gift to quit making with other people's gifts in the body. He's trying to, he's trying to do other people's gifts in the body. You go back to your gift that I gave you. You operate the body what you're supposed to operate in. I'll take care of it. Everybody has a kind of gift. Everybody is special and unique. Everybody needs to be operating in the gift in the body of Christ. Romans 1 12. Paul said this, he said, I want us to help each other with the faith we have. Your faith will help me, and my faith will help you. Just think of one another. I used to tell the guys at work, 
And again, we're going to talk about this uh, today and this day. And then trust comes in. Just because you forgive somebody, don't mean you've got to trust them right That's not scripture. You have to forgive, but it don't mean you've got to line yourself up to get smacked again. And line yourself up to get hurt again the same way that you're facing. And people got to earn yourself back. They can have to earn yourself. When, when trust is in both and trust to be earned back. And then, that's what happens to you. When you can't hold your It's not going to work that way. Jesus said that you have to forgive about it to you. And like I said, that means that it's